Greetings! Welcome to That Munch Life, uh, CCG edition. Uh, we are doing a special one today because uh, you may have seen Corey and I did the uh, Rainbow mm. Deck episode uh, right before this. I'm going to upload both of these at the same time, even though there's a significant time difference between the two. <laughs> but uh, this is another Rainbow Deck episode because I built one for Tank uh, with his input. I didn't just like throw it together and go, yep. <laughs> but life happened. But life happened, and, you know, stuff gets in the way. But, um, so I built him a rainbow deck with his input, kind of refined his idea, gave it my idea, you know, just collaborative. Uh, and uh, I wanted to try it out uh, against him, try my rainbow deck out against him, because you may have seen in the previous episode, spoiler alert, Corey beat me. And uh, so I want to see if it was a matter of uh, his deck building abilities being superior, which is quite possible. He's very good. Uh, or if the deck itself needs tweaks. So I haven't touched it since then. I haven't changed any cards. Uh, so I want to uh, see how it does against this one. And again, these are rainbow decks. These are all the colors, just 40 cards. The only limitations are no more than three of any card, and we're both using a Wanderer uh, as our hero. So, there we go. And they're, you know, 40 cards, obviously. So, uh, this is a thought experiment. These are not legal decks in any way, shape, or form. Uh, we also, uh, if we want to use crazy cards, uh, Vs and Ws mostly, we do have proxies of some of those cards, but I dare you to tell the difference uh, in a video environment <laughs> so uh i i've gotten pretty in good in person you can tell in person yeah absolutely yeah we, like, we don't we don't like try i said to make we, them perfect yeah so like, we, like we i said we don't do uh we don't try to pass them off as the real thing ever 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 but in uh friendly games we do uh like to use proxies just so we don't have to break down decks uh to build a new one with or pull out that one card that we own. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. To break down decks in order to build another deck with a utility card that should go in any deck. Use card dealer, bone depot, yeah. uh, stuff like that. So, um, He's I had a few rare cards that he only has one of and they're in the book. Right. <laughs> Cause the first copy goes in the book. Um, if I want to play with a few of my decks at Fenordcon, mm -hmm. I'm going to have to use the one in the book. Uh, I just got my second uh, Bovine Colossus. I got my second uh, Toolbox. So, like, the decks that I have that include those cards, I can actually make. But the uh, but I have more decks that have them in it. The only decks uh, that I have that I cannot make right now are the ones that include the Resurrector set, because I, that's the only card I don't have. Uh, for the main CCG uh, decks. There's a couple of promos I don't have, but I haven't used those yet either. Um, but the, the Resurrector set is the only card I'm missing from the main set, and uh, but I, I made a proxy of it from the, uh, from the image file uh, on the website, and I just wanted to see how it played. But that's the only way, that's the only decks, that, I have two decks that have that in it, but those are the only ones that I cannot make right now. And I don't think they're really necessary for those decks. I can replace them with something else. Um, but uh, I just wanted to see how they played, how the how it worked uh, in that deck. We should like probably that. build ourselves some tournament decks that have no proxies on it. Just like two oh, yeah. or three, because when we're down there... That's basically going to be my February, is uh, pulling my decks apart and making yeah. sure that uh, all of them have all the proxies taken out. I'm not worried about most of my decks. Most of my decks are for fun play, but I know my Thief deck is definitely it. Right. Your Thief deck has that charm of cheating in it because we, we built it up from the ground up. Oh, no, no, the other one. The one that doesn't have any proxies in it. Oh, oh, right. That needs fixed, yeah. Yeah. But, the, yeah, the other one with the proxies in it, we were just seeing what you could do. Yeah, that one's just going to be a fun play for now. Yeah. Because that's an experiment. Right. Uh, but we can, like, make... Uh, most of that deck. I only have the one Charm of Cheating. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, I need to pull some of my decks apart because I have like 40-ish decks made and realistically, without my proxies, I could probably make about 25 of them with the cards that I have. But, uh, 
because like used car dealers are so ubiquitous. They should be basically in every deck. And uh, I have a large number of them, but I don't have enough. <laughs> they, just so you know, Ranger Things, the, the, deck, the meta deck, has no proxies. I had to I had to put two of my alt art horseflies in it to do that, but no proxies. <laughs> it even has a genuine crown of crazy in it. No. <laughs> You're only one other than the book. <laughs> no, I have one more. Oh, you do have one more? Yep. <laughs> so since Brandon is done trying to warm up the room, <laughs> it's quite a large room, but he has quite oh, a bit of that's my you get to cut that. I'm cutting this. Yeah. So um Brandon Showed me this. <laughs> I did not know this existed. <laughs> well, it is set up for three five. It's out of print. It's out of print. <clears throat> you got the other two right. I don't. Oh. I would have to track down the Munchkin Monster manual uh, or the, and the screen. The screen. I'm more be, worried about the manual. You can find PDFs of it. The screen is going to be the hard one. Okay. <laughs> I'm thinking we get a party together. <laughs> a party or a party. <laughs> and. Uh, I run a game for them, and we just do a uh, a blog, uh, a podcast. Like yeah, like a full on radio play podcast style, uh, with rudimentary sound effects. I think that would be hilarious. <laughs> so just let us know what you guys think about that in the comments. If that's something you'd be interested in, or if you know somebody who'd be interested in that. <laughs> And uh, you also might notice we're not using my lifometers today because we're both using the MIB Oversize Wanderer, which would not fit in the thing. Yeah. <laughs> I think it would swallow the thing. Really? What's that? I don't know. I like, I like, I like. I'm going to keep this. Uh, I'll go first since I won the roll. Or, or I will show first since I won the roll. I like mine. <laughs> uh, I got one of him. I got that. That's basically why I'm going first. Uh, but I also got one of those. <coughs> Protection for that. I got that. <laughs> uh, one of those, you know, that's neither here nor there. So, uh it, but basically, it, because of that, I'm going for. I'm gonna keep this. Okay. Sorry about all the coughing. <laughs> um, it, I've been out of the hospital for like two weeks now. Better to be coughing than in a coffin. I still like sleeping in coffins. <laughs> kind of want another one. That you know, that's just the necromancer in me. <laughs> so what I've got. This is definitely going to be an interesting deck to play. <laughs> this is the first time I've played this deck. I just looked at it for the first time about five minutes ago. Uh, ten minutes. It's eight minutes in right now. <laughs> <laughs> about ten minutes ago. <sighs> and then we had to listen to Brandon. Hey! <laughs> I ramble. <laughs> yes, you do. I'm going to stamp Nash on your ass next Nash. time. And I am going to go second. If you don't get that joke, just Google it. <laughs> ask your parents. <laughs> Actually, ask your grandparents at this point. <laughs> Though we used to have one when I was a kid. <clears throat> that was the best car ever. Because we had the station wagon. <laughs> Like Dave Barry talks about the first car he ever owned was a Nash Metropolitan. I want one of those so bad. He also said it had a top speed of 53 miles an hour yep. when dropped from a bomber. <laughs> <laughs> They're just the most adorable little things ever. If you ever get a chance to look at a Nash, Nash Metropolitan, do it. I don't care if you're a car nut or not. It's adorable. It's a two-seater, right? Yeah, it's, it's a two-seater. Yeah. Uh, it's... it's what would happen if you miniaturized a 1950s uh, Corvette and uh, then miniaturized that? <laughs> I believe that it's the car that Weird Al drives in UHF. 
Maybe I'd have to look. I it's definitely it, a two seater in that movie. Yeah. I believe it's a Nash Metropolitan. <laughs> Call me out on it. Am I right or wrong? <laughs> we can Google it right now. Nope. No, I want them to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know now. My phone's in the room. We'll look it up afterwards. But I want okay. them to. I want them to do it for the video. All right. Fair. 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 Okay. So. Edifice of Innovation. Did you draw? Oh. <laughs> no. <sighs> of course he gets the edifice on the draw. Spellception. Of course he gets spellception on the draw. <laughs> and what's on the bottom? <laughs> wow. Violet Vivification. <laughs> The uh, the idea behind this deck is we were talking and I was give it I, at least one shuffle. I know it was yeah. on the bottom, but give it at least one shuffle. That's the spirit of the card. Yeah. I uh, I had been working on my uh, Slaves of Darkness army at the same time, and the first thing that popped into my head was a spiky trebuchet. <laughs> uh, at the end of your turn, I'm going to do I want it all. Okay. During your, or before your cooldown. So uh, we we decided to build a siege deck. <laughs> siege, not CG. Like we don't have special effects. The first said siege. <laughs> you said it's C. C you said CG. No, I said siege deck. It's CG like Fiji, only not at all. All right, so I take that back, and then I do my draw for my turn. It's a class one siege deck. Yes. <laughs> Hopefully right. it'll evolve into a cannonade at one point. <laughs> you got your best location. I got my best location. Epic Loot, Inc. Fuck. Which will go nicely <laughs> with my sock full of rhinestones. <laughs> Double fuck. Double fuck, he says. <laughs> He's not wrong. <laughs> By the way, this video is not meant for anyone under the age of 13. Right, right. They have that well marked right right, uh, right down there. <laughs> not for children. Mm -hmm. In fact, the game is not for children. <laughs> Dear God. Unless your parents are cool. <laughs> My dad took me to see uh, Alien 3 when I was uh, 11 years old. And it was his idea. <laughs> Talon, when he was five, came out and watched Predator with mom and dad because he couldn't sleep after that. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, we watched uh, Predator He watched popped Predator out too. to say something to them while the Predator was taking his mask off. And he's like, nope, nope, I'm not going back to bed and cuddled up <laughs> with mom and watch the rest of the movie. Yeah, we... We, uh, yeah, we watched Predator 2 over at my uncle's house a couple of years before that. I mean, that, that was nothing. But Well, before that, the scariest shit we had ever watched, and believe me, it's scary. Uh, if you Predator? Meh. Nick Nolte? <laughs> <laughs> no, if no, you do, was if, that Nolte or Busey? No, that was Gary Busey. Yeah. <laughs> if, if you do not believe me how scary this shit is, look it up. Howard the Duck. The end monster. <laughs> that was terrifying. Dude, that thing was <laughs> nastified. <laughs> that one got me too. I was like, <laughs> the the first attempt at the MCU. It and was Leah it was, Thompson and it was Tim the first, Robbins. The first decent attempt at the MCU. What? Nineteen <laughs> seventies Captain America. Ooh, the nineteen ninety. The Incredible Hulk. The nineteen ninety Captain America. <laughs> I'm talking the seventies where he was riding that really cheap Honda and had a, pla a plexiglass shield. That was nineteen ninety. Was that ninety? Yes. I'm talking the the TV series. No, no, the the TV. Not movie. the movie. Not the movie. The, the TV series. It was a TV the movie, movie where he gets strapped to a fucking missile. <laughs> That was messed up. <laughs> that was the 1991. He's kicking the missile so it doesn't hit the White House, and it lands in Antarctica. <laughs> when in what doubt, kick a missile. Fuck. 
Yeah, that was it. 1990, that was when he was on that super cheap Honda with the plexiglass shield. Like, like it had all the all the uh, the red, white, and blue on it, but it was, it was clear, clear <laughs> on these stripes. I'm like, because all of a sudden vibranium you can see through. <laughs> yep. <coughs> like, yeah, like, yes, I see him. <laughs> See through him. There we go. See through him. <laughs> <laughs> and the Incredible Hulk TV show was good. The movies were just kind of what the fuck. <laughs> Though I did like Thor. <laughs> Thor. Thor coming out Dude. in a towel and drinking a fucking mudslide. A mudslide <laughs> out of a, a blender is just like <laughs> that's my spirit animal the, right there. The, the, the craziest thing I saw on that mm-hmm. show. Uh, it was the Incredible Hulk fighting a bear, <laughs> and then he picks it up and he throws it, and it pans up, and you just see this flying, obviously the most terrible, mocked up stuffed bear. Like it, like it looked like it was half a step away from having wanted at a carnival type of stuffed bear. <laughs> like he was in there fighting like this real bear. Like I had a trained bear for like a day. Yeah, there was like. Ineffectually slapping at Lou Ferrigno, yeah, and like, and then he like grapples it and go, does this, <coughs> and then it it cuts up to this stuffed bear just flying through the air, <laughs> and then we never see the bear again. Like the bear was just flung over a a cliff somewhere, and it died horribly. Mm. It is now a rug in Lou Ferrigno's house. <laughs> no, no, Lou Ferrigno wouldn't have it. The other dude would. Bill Bixby? Yes. <laughs> yeah, but he's dead now. <laughs> His kids have it somewhere. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and to the Bixby estate, we leave... <laughs> the bear. The, be- the bearskin rug. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't really taxidermy. Hulk just smashed it until it was flat enough to be a rug. <laughs> and then it just dried that way. I mean. <laughs> Anyway, so it's my turn? Yes, absolutely. (laughs) Ivan. Suction cup. One of you is definitely carrying a fucking plunger as a weapon. (laughs) Oh, oh, Mr. Carter. (laughs) (laughs) I don't have what I need just yet. And I'm going to end my turn. And by doing the thing. <laughs> Cool. Go. Okay. Ah, I can't do both. <laughs> I am. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna do that. In. I'm gonna do. I want it all again. Okay. <laughs> That was a that was a tough decision. <laughs> I'll tell you why later. <coughs> Damn it! I mean that'll do. <laughs> Damn it! Can't do that either right now. <laughs> All this stuff is too expensive. (sighs) All right. (laughs) I'll just keep everything the way it is. Finally. Uh, Finally. First two turns took 20 minutes. I take...
like 45 seconds. He's like, no, hey. no, not you. <laughs> Dr. Meow practice. Oh. <laughs> Hi, asshole. <laughs> That's you me stealing Tank's line. Yeah. <laughs> it's what we call an homage. It means a stolen. <laughs> Violent vivification. Oh, wait, first. I, just, uh, I guess I need to zap and put Spellception back on the bottom of my deck. Yeah, that works, yeah. And then Violent Vivification, you Yeah. Uh -huh. What? No, you take the damage to unzap I it. I take the damage uh -huh. to unzap it. Yes. And then, oh. That's it. That you didn't work. But you do have that. to have damage on you to heal it later. Yes. This is true. <laughs> it doesn't count as healing. <laughs> He's putting the cart before the horse because there's one other piece of that that he needs. And I, the thing is, I, so even though I built the deck, having knowledge of all the cards in it is not going to help me against it. Especially <laughs> not with me playing it. Because I'm not as <laughs> random as fucking possible. <laughs> That's also true. <laughs> That's why I put up such a hell of a fight in some of our games. Is it, it has nothing to do with being a better player. I am like just bullshit random. Yep. I'm like throwing a bag of D20s at somebody. <laughs> <laughs> or a sock full of rhinestones. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whack. What the hell did you hit him with? Rhinestones. Rhinestones. <laughs> now he's all shiny, too. <laughs> like when Yosemite Sam hits Bugs Bunny with the glove. <laughs> like, Varm, I'll challenge you, varmint. And Bugs Bunny just looks at the camera, turns around, grabs a glove, drops a brick in it, hits him back. <laughs> he spins around three times, and he turns around and dumps out the glove, and, like, dust comes out. <laughs> One of my absolute favorite Bugs Bunny gags. Uh, yes. <laughs> Are you Or Bugs cross-dressing and dancing with uh, Elmer. <laughs> <laughs> That's mild funny, but, you That's know. always entertaining. Is uh, him... Uh, the, doing the doing the glove thing, he does that several times, and any time that he's been thwarted once, and he goes, "Of course, you realize this means war," mm -hmm. <laughs> which means he was just humoring them, <laughs> whoever it is, you know, uh, uh, Sylvester, just, yeah. Elmer, you know, whoever, Tasmanian Devil, Wily e. Coyote, whatever, big furry monster, big fur, yeah, the big furry monster, <laughs> and, uh, like, and then it, then he's like, oh. All right, let's work. <laughs> I think the best best part of that was the first time I saw uh, Marvin the Martian. He said that line. Yes, trying to go after bugs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With my Illudium Pew thirty six explosive space modulator. <laughs> Are you done, sir? Yes. Well, can do the thing. Uh, the thing. The thing. The thing. Yeah. There we go. Excellent. Right. But now I can life you know, if you. I play. see that. <laughs> Draw. Ooh, a discount cudgel. Cudgels. Yeah, five for a dollar. <laughs> five for a dollar. Uh, I'm going to do Ultra Blades. Go looking for a weapon. If I'm right. <laughs> eh, maybe. Let's see. If, uh, fans of the other episode will know how many weapons I actually have in this deck, so it's a uh, kind of a choice here. Has a trinket. Yeah. Yeah, why not? I'll get my other sock. Have a nice pair of socks going. And then... You know, I figured out the best sap ever, and you own 50% of it. Actually, you own both ingredients. Wow. Silly putty and a sock. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe two socks, just so that way it doesn't like break the sock the first hit. <laughs> if you drop silly putty, it bounces. If you drop it from high enough, it shatters. It's really a crazy fluid. 
Yeah, it, it's really the, like a crazy, crazy stuff. All right, another sock full of rhinestones. Shoot. <laughs> because love. And I'm going to... The one over here on this side is the proxy, right? Actually, they both are, just from different card stock. Okay. <laughs> My rainbow deck is all proxies, because I don't want to sequester real cards uh, for a, a non... Uh, Non-playable deck. Non-playable deck. <laughs> For shits and giggles deck. But since I got new socks full of rhinestones out of my Fashion Furious box, I didn't have to make the new uh, proxy to put in this. I just took the one out of the deck that it was in uh. and replaced it with the real thing. <laughs> so, okay, I played I Want It All, which has on course. So, and then... Two. Well, that helped. All right. I think I'm gonna go back to sleep after this. <laughs> I'll go up to I'll go up to the game shop later to pay. And I'll put out a double-edged Shoot. sword. A sword. A sword. Yes, a sword. And I'll flaunt a wackety sex, which I can put into Fuck pure sex. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a sax machine. <laughs> I'm waiting 179 episodes to say that. <laughs> it said that he has that many episodes memorized too. Nope, that was a guess. It was an educated guess because I, it'll be. No, close. I was meaning you actually memorized that many episodes. <laughs> <laughs> I've watched them all at least three times. Done. At least. <laughs> We're not up to 179 episodes. I think we're like falling behind. We're close. We're very close. We have 258 uh, videos. This will be the 259th. Actually, this will be the 260th. Because <laughs> I'll put up that other Rainbow Deck episode just before this. So this will be a, like the 260th video. But that that it does include all of the specials and extras, the misadventures of Brandon, you know, st uh, stuff like that. Uh, unboxings, the and a half episodes. That that one cutthroat episode where we pl start all started at level nine. Oh god, that was such a fun episode. I that love was. that one. So wh I played white milk for its main ability. Yes, yes. The white milk. That's pretty much why it's there because he needed some card draw in that deck. The fact that it has monstrous was actually secondary in the choices in that deck. All right. Um, I'm at four now, so... B2 Medallion! Ooh. <laughs> and yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use it. You know what? Why not? Yay, gold. <laughs> Yay, gold. <laughs> I could use that. And then... <laughs> no, I did! I'm gonna go ahead and zap my MIB Wanderer to put White Milk back on the bottom of the deck. I can do Alter Blades. And I'm in the leg turn. Uh, I got... Okay, well, I was going to so. do like two things before the end of your turn. Okay. <laughs> I'm doing Alter Blades. Alter Blades. And... Get a surreptitious yeah. scythe. I actually found a website where I can buy a buy a shirt for less than 40 bucks. I'm happy. And it looks like it'll fit because it's 6X. Most of my shirts come from uh, all of the snarky ones. Uh, come from RK uh, Roadkill t-shirts, RKT. Uh, and it was a buy three get six free sale a few years ago. Uh, I'm also going to zap my Wanderer and put one of my Ultimates on the bottom. The problem I have with that is I actually need clothes for work. <laughs> so and I can't wear those. I don't work night shift. I don't wear this. Don't work. <laughs> <laughs> Not but that one. One of them you do. Your night auditor shirt. I just wore that to training. No. I wore that first day of training to uh, establish dominance. Dominance. <laughs> and then uh, I figured your size would do that. <laughs> I'm going to flaunt that size at the end of your turn as well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> When we give Corey shit about being the smallest member of us, 
Corey is the smallest member. He's like 5'8 and like 180 pounds. <laughs> Brandon, you're what, 6'1? I'm 6'0. 6'0? Yeah. I'm 6'5. <laughs> <laughs> Lexi, 6'2. <laughs> Are you done? Yeah. Okay. I think Sky is even taller than Corey. <laughs> I think they're the same height. But maybe, maybe, yeah. Right, Sky, Sky's got more chest weight. <laughs> <laughs> a lot more chest weight. <laughs> um, I say, watch one of those season one episodes where the camera was pointed in exactly the right way to it's accentuate that. <laughs> Sorry, Corey only wears an A cup. <laughs> um, Talon's five foot eleven, but Talon like weighs three hundred and fifty pounds and can bench press a gorilla. <laughs> Gorilla. All right, so I'm at four. I'm at four. Hmm. All right. Um, we're we're not small guys. Uh, so <laughs> when we 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 talk about finding good clothes deals, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I'm zap both of my socks and take the counters off of my sacks and my scythe, and put down a contingency plank. Oh, I do take a damage at the beginning of my turn. Oh, another reason I bring that up, if you see us at Fnard Con or any other con, don't be afraid to walk up and talk to us. We're actually really nice. <laughs> well, he's an asshole, but I'm pretty nice. He says this like we're celebrities. <laughs> he, he thinks he is. He's got the ego for it. I'm not conceited. Conceit's a flaw. I don't have any flaws. <laughs> and uh, I want it all. We just don't have the paychecks to go with the... <laughs> Get your friends to subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if we put up a Patreon, we can actually afford more equipment. <laughs> Get ones of dollars? Hey, ones of dollars is more than we have now for equipment. True. <laughs> put down another double-edged sword. And be done. <clears throat> Done. <sighs> yeah, I'm taking a nap. <laughs> and, like, remember, we have yet to see a monster from either of us <laughs> in this game. This is all, like, aggressive posturing, and we've reached level five. I want it all. Hey, look, he found an I want it all. <laughs> More aggressive posturing. <laughs> Me too, medallion. There was a game on the original Nintendo called the Caveman Games. And when you did the... Uh, uh, the basically beating each other with a club game, uh, there was the first round was called the Intimidation Round, mm -hmm. where you just kind of like... You went back and forth on the D-pad, and you'd like bounced your dude, and he just like like stanced at the other dude, just, like doing 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 doing, and the other guy would do the same, like doing 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 doing. <laughs> I actually missed that game. Now that you bring it up, <laughs> uh, my turn. <laughs> Hi, Doofus. <laughs> you might have seen Ivan's head pop up there. <laughs> so, Ivan's getting big. You said you're done? Yep. All right. He's yeah. also becoming more of a chicken shit. Yes. <laughs> and then that. I'm not even sure skittish begins to cover it anymore. <laughs> Take two damage. That, 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 that. Unstash. Draw. Neat. <laughs> <sighs> I keep thinking about it. Knock that damn thing over. <laughs> Knock what over? Oh, it's, <laughs> it's slightly farther away than that. I keep hitting it with my elbow. <laughs> I 
Smack it with a plunger. Compost. Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> and it's a cobalt blade master. Ugh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> you will pay for that. <laughs> oh, actually, I only take six. Oh, yeah, six. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Indeed. All right, and I'm going to Finder's Keepers with one of my double-edged swords and go get any loot I want. And the loot I want is my overstuffed saddlebags. Alright, I'm currently level 5. My stars are at 4. I would need to be at 2 in order to put out my saddlebag. Wait, no. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Well, shucks. Well, I'll at least do that. Take my counters. So now I'm at three. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Six. Six. Done. Comes out. Draw. Pay six. Kaboom! Ooh. With Albi Bach. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Kaboom! <laughs> yeah, that'll do. <laughs> uh, I mean, two medallion? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm good, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and my turn. Okay, I'm going to do I want it all before the end of your turn. Mm -hmm. And I'm also going to zap my wanderer. And take back... Ooh, let's go with... Oh, my double-edged sword. Cool. <laughs> that would be someone trying to contact me. <laughs> Oh, I'm at. <laughs> hey, you want to play a game? <laughs> All right. And you said you're done? Yep. All right. So, do that. Unzap. Unzap. Take. Take. Draw. Excellent. Now I am level 6. So I can do that and that. Take those back down to 0. So I'm at 1, 2, 3. Plus 3 is 6. Alright. Saddlebags. Saddlebags! <laughs> Ye. Oh. Un. Meow. <laughs> I'm willing to sacrifice. You son of a... <laughs> <laughs> it looked compost. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> you potato. <laughs> Fucking... Bacon wrapped potato. <laughs> uh, 
Gotta love me. And Yep, I'm just boned. Go ahead. It is at this time I would remind you that you have not yet used your runaway. Uh, yeah, I'll run away. Okay. Because it's <laughs> got to be that asshole. I'm just worried you it have It doesn't a have to be. <laughs> I, I'm just worried you have a second one in your hand. There are three in the deck. I'm just going to do... I want it all. <laughs> that was helpful. And I'll go ahead and do all two blades while I'm at it, since I have one gold left. And... Uh, <coughs> I'll go get some chopsticks. <laughs> he says as he wants to fling my deck out the window. Chopsticks. And then I'll be done. Done. Six. Kaboom. With another I'll be back. <laughs> Set my saddlebags. Avoid. Fuck. Shove it up yours. You done? Yeah. Okay. Done. 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 Actually, just take these and put them there. And put four back. Move these down here. <laughs> Is it now I'm level seven and I'm up to two, two, four, five, six, seven. Eight stars. <laughs> <laughs> and draw. Tip. All right. More chopsticks. <laughs> this is now my stash, and my hoard extends into my stash. <laughs> you got my stash mat over there, or my hoard mat over there. Uh. It's in there. The cat's, like, batted it into the other room one day, so I stacked it over there. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fuck you, you little furry bastards. <laughs> you little bastards! What? <sighs> Run like a bitch. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I fucking limp away. I will take the one damage. Two. It's two damage to limp two away. Two damage. Ah! <laughs> did he really just jump off a cliff? He did. <laughs> Corey limped off a cliff once. <laughs> like he actually like limped away instead of seeing what it was. Under the other uh, thing, and he was at 18 damage. He limped off a cliff and died. Because he didn't want to see 
whatever monster it was. <laughs> Bring it. It's going to hurt. It's a temperamental! Ow! <laughs> I definitely control more than four weapons, so it is seven damage. Which would be six. six. Damage. Bring it. <laughs> Ooh. That one's the Cobalt Blade Master. Yeah. Death? Yeah. Horrible death? Horrible death. Say, I will also flaunt these two wackety saxes. So it is now a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 damage. So 9 damage. <laughs> Notice how he's putting me off while he was counting the monsters, too. Can you hear that? You want me to turn it up for you? <laughs> this is a good deck. It just needs it needs to uh, be shuffled better. Well, once you let this deck off the chain, like it runs away like a train. Hey, that runs. But uh, bad the, Brandon. The two I the, the two cards that I drew with my I want it all on the last one. We're a healing salvo and a forked. <coughs> so, if he had kaboomed me, I would block with my overstuffed saddlebags and avoid that damage. And then, if he, like, somehow, if he got his forked uh, or had another kaboom or whatever, uh, then I would pull, pull out this little gem here and just use both of them and go, I get. 2d6 damage back. <laughs> and I didn't get to use it the whole game, but Epic Loot was out the entire game. So we know it's just that Corey's a better deck builder. He did build that deck very well. Uh, I, uh, But he built it monsterless, so like I didn't get a chance to put out any of my weapons, which is where all of that would come from. Um, I know you didn't either. Did you put out any monsters? Nope. No, I had my monsters in my hand, and I didn't use them. Right, because uh, one of your monsters is Fetch, and I know that you would use him to go get stuff back. Uh, but I also drew Bone Depot at one point, and I'm like, I don't need to use Bone Depot. Because <laughs> I, I had I want it all. That's basically a contingency for if I don't get my I want it all uh, early enough. Um, I had my other overstuffed saddlebags just in case you were able to get rid of one. And I had that compost in case you put out another suction cup uh, to get rid of my used car dealer or something. But, like, that, that's not even the extent of Cudgel, Scythe, Blade Master, Cudgel, Fort, Blade Master, Ultimates, Bootleg Booty, Double Edged Sword, Double Edged Sword, Serve to the Scythe, and Chopsticks. <laughs> Like, I have all of this loot in the deck, so or in here. So, I have, like, 18 weapons, I or 18 loot, I think. But I only have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and the other saddlebag, 79 stars hmm. worth of loot. <laughs> I have less than max level worth of loot, and I could have, like, all of these loots in play. The the uh, the double edged sword har <laughs> with the the sacks and the scythes are that if it's in your horde at the beginning of your turn, then it gets a counter which acts as a star. It counts as uh, it gets one star for each token on it, um, which is where it comes into play on subsequent turns if you put out. Uh, one or two of them, you might not be able to put out any uh, subsequent loot, which is why the socks full of rhinestones are in there, so you can zap them, pull those counters off, put out more loot, and then come the next turn, it doesn't matter if they get another counter on them, you've already put out that, that loot that you needed to put out so badly. Uh, that's why I was able to put out the overstuffed saddlebags at level 6, um, because I would, I took these off of here, which put me down to three stars worth of loot. I put it out next turn, went back on, and I didn't care. <laughs> so, let us know if you guys want us to do a podcast of me running a Munchkin RPG game for them. 
Um, yeah. And just for your edification, you were completely right in running away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wasn't trying to bluff it out. I had all three of them, and that's what I was waiting for. <laughs> But, uh, yeah. Um, so that's that. Uh, there'll probably be more videos coming soon. Yeah, now that I have... Now that I'm unbottlenecking myself, we got this Rainbow Deck uh, game out of the way. I can put both of them next to each other so you can see the full glory of this Rainbow Deck. So what's the name of this one going to be? Chasing Rainbows? <laughs> uh, no, it's... a. Uh, uh, the, the one with Corey is the Rainbow Connection, and this will be the Rainbow Correction. <laughs> well, excuse me, I'm going to hit him with a pan. <laughs> and I can just whip cards at him because it doesn't matter, because these are all proxies. <laughs> we'll, see, we'll see you later, guys. Be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, bring that bell on there. So that way you get our notifications. <laughs> Don't be the... Uh, I, just make it so that I'm not the only one who has the bell. It's like, I'm I have it. I just don't pay attention to it. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, me. <laughs> so lonely. I'm so lonely. I'm so lonely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, de yeah. oh, everything that he said. He hasn't done the outro in a good long while, a couple of seasons. So, uh, since I basically... Uh, uh, Forced uh, my hand. No, since I uh, uh, I was gonna say uh, standardized it. Yeah. I it's about halfway through season one is when I actually settled on the order and speed at which I do that. Yep. So, <laughs> so yeah. Uh, so yeah, like I say, be sure to like, share, favorite, subscribe, pay it forward, send us money, be excellent to each other, and we'll see you next time. Peace.